In this video, we're going to go over what to expect in your data engineering interviews. We'll talk about what each round is going to look like and what you'll be tested on, as well as give you some sample interview questions from top companies to help you practice. By the end of the video, we hope that you'll have an idea of where you need to focus your energy to prep for your interviews. This video is actually part of a larger data engineering interview prep course that we made. To make the course, we collaborated directly with some senior data engineering leaders at companies like Databricks, Meta, Google, Amazon, a bunch of other startups. And I'm going to do my best to summarize all of that information that we collected from those calls right here, right now. Let's get into it. First, there's a recruiter screen. This is usually a pretty quick 30 minute chat where a recruiter is going to summarize the expectations for the role that you've applied to and try to figure out if you're a good fit. This is a really good time for you to ask for any materials that you need to help prep for the interview loop. You should be prepared to answer questions like, tell me about yourself or why did you apply to this role? Next, there's going to be a SQL coding round. This might be combined into a general technical screen with some other coding questions, which we'll talk about in a minute. And this is usually done as an online assessment using HackerRank or CoderPad or during a face-to-face -face interview. Overall, you're going to be expected to write an efficient SQL query ranging from a simple aggregation all the way up to a complex window function. For instance, one of the meta engineers that we spoke with said that the SQL round has up to five separate questions related to a business problem that they were given. Things like aggregations, null values, case statements, and handling exceptions were all covered in that interview. At Uber, we heard that one sample question was write a SQL query to find the top drivers by earnings in every major US city. Next, you should expect to do a data structures and algorithms coding round. This will be online or face-to-face, -face, and in some cases, like we mentioned, might be happening alongside the SQL interview, which is the case at Meta and Uber. Just a heads up though, that these questions are typically easier than other software engineering interviews. We notice lots and lots of easy to medium difficulty data structures and algorithms questions across basically all all of the big tech companies. For example, Amazon asked, given a string, can you write a function to find the string's first recurring character? At Airbnb, some frequent topics include graphs, recursion and backtracking, and Uber had some questions on arrays, stacks, and queue. All right, now let's talk about the data modeling interviews. These are usually interactive scenario-based discussions. They take about 45 minutes to an hour. You'll hear a business scenario and then get asked to design a data model. This typically includes a dimensional model or an ER diagram with about three to five tables. Your primary goal in these interviews is to identify business requirements, any technical constraints, and then adapt the model to feedback that your interviewer is gonna give you. You need to ask clarifying questions, you need to think out loud, and you need to be able to make improvements in real time. After you hear the question, you might kick things off by asking something like, could you tell me more about the primary processes that we're trying to model? Are we focused on sales transactions? Are we focused on customer interactions? Something else? In practice, data modeling in interviews follows these simple steps. Number one, identify any relevant data entities, define attributes for each of them, establish relationships between all of them, determine the data types and constraints that you're up against, and then optimize the model for performance or scalability. Some real sample questions that we've come across are, how would you design a data model for Lyft? This would include entities such as drivers, users, trips, and payments. Or how would you design a data model for Stripe? Assuming that the three primary use cases for the data that we're looking for are tracking the lifetime value and churn rate of customers, payment outcomes like successes and failures, and then revenue tracking and forecasting into the future. In some cases, you might also be asked to write a SQL query based on the data model that you build live in the interview. So for instance, if you just built a data model for sales data, you might get asked, what are the top selling product categories by total sales for each quarter this year? By the way, if you're enjoying this video and want to get a deeper dive into prepping for data engineering interviews, be sure to check out our complete interview course in the description below. We've got practice questions, real world examples and some mock interview video lessons, basically everything you need to succeed in your upcoming rounds. All right, next, let's talk about ETL pipeline design interviews. These are another interactive scenario-based discussion where you'll design an ETL pipeline based on a business scenario that you're given. This time you're gonna be focused on the data sources and destinations, extraction, transformation, and loading processes. You should be able to talk with your interviewer about performance, scalability, and fault tolerance as well. You can kick off the conversation by asking some clarifying questions like, what's the expected data volume and frequency of updates? Or are there any latency requirements for data availability? Basically, no matter the pipeline question that you get, you should focus on these seven steps. Clarify the requirements and the constraints, identify the data sources and destinations, design the extraction process, plan the transformation logic, 
determine a loading strategy, consider the performance, scalability, and fault tolerance of the design, and then review and iterate with your interviewer. Some sample questions that we heard from candidates and interviewers include, at Uber, can you design a real-time system to track driver locations and then match them with nearby drivers? In this case, you'd be thinking about geospatial indexing, streaming processing, and scalable storage. At Databricks, you might hear, can you design a document processing pipeline? And at Google, candidates have been asked, when is Hadoop better than PySpark? Finally, there's going to be a behavioral component to all of these interviews. Obviously, we could spend hours talking about behavioral interviewing, so if you want to dive deep into that topic, we did just create a new complete behavioral prep course for senior level candidates. That's also in the description down below. Behavioral interview questions usually show up across all of the interview rounds for data engineers, so it's very unlikely that you'll have just one specific behavioral fit interview. Throughout the process, you're going to be going over your experience, your past projects, how do you collaborate cross-functionally, how do you communicate business insights to the team. For instance, Google asks questions like, can you describe a time you used your values to ensure that everybody on your team felt included? They've also been known to ask, Tell me about your journey into data. Atlassian has asked, what was the last decision that you made that had a big, meaningful business impact? And Slack, a company that's focused on teamwork and collaboration, has asked questions like, tell me about a time that you had to take on a leadership role. To wrap things up, let's quickly summarize some of the most common company-specific use cases for data engineers to learn what might be prioritized in each of the interviews that you're going into. At Amazon, they're focused on large-scale data processing and cloud-based solutions, so it's likely that your answers should highlight scalability, distributed systems, AWS, Lambda, Redshift, and data security. Google places a big emphasis on high-performance data processing, very large data sets, and integration with GCP services like BigQuery, Dataflow, and PubSub. Meta wants to hear about data privacy, GDPR compliance, scalability, and performance. Netflix emphasizes real-time data analytics and data processing streaming, services like Kafka and Flink, and optimization for high throughput. Apple, of course, is focused on privacy, integrating across diverse systems, and secure user data management. Microsoft, unsurprisingly, wants to hear about Azure cloud services and enterprise solutions. And at Uber, it's likely that you're going to get tested on real-time data processing, location services, and optimizing dynamic data loads. We hope this video has been helpful in prepping for your upcoming data engineering interviews. And as we mentioned, we have a complete interview prep course for all of the topics that we talked about today to help you get up to speed. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.